Good morning, children. This is Mom Rose, and I am your tutor for today's topic about reading and writing fractions in symbols and in words. Let us start. How many has the shaded part in this figure? There is one shaded part. Into how many is this figure divided? Let us count. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is divided into six equal parts. The shaded part represents the numerator. And since there is one shaded part, one is our numerator. And since it is divided into six equal parts, six is the denominator. Now, the fraction symbol for the shaded part is one-sixth. And here is the fraction word. One six. Next, there is one shaded part in this triangle. So, it should be written as the numerator. And it is divided into two equal parts. So, two is the denominator. Now, the fraction symbol for the shaded part is one half. And here is the fraction word, one half. Next figure. There is one shaded part. So, one should be the numerator. And it is divided into five equal parts. So, 5 is the denominator. And the fraction symbol for this figure is 1 fifth. Or the fraction symbol for the shaded part is 1 fifth. Here is the fraction word, 1 fifth. There is one shaded part in this figure, so one should be written as the numerator. And it is divided into four equal parts, so four is the denominator. And the fraction symbol for this is one-fourth. Here is the fraction word, one-fourth. There is one shaded part in this figure, so one should be written as the numerator. And it is divided into eight equal parts, so eight is the denominator. So the fraction symbol for the shaded part is one eight. Here is the fraction word, one eight. There are six shaded parts in these two triangles. So, there are six shaded parts and should be written as the numerator. Into how many is, into how many is its figure divided? So, its figure is divided into 4. So, our denominator is 4. The fraction symbol for this is 6 fourths. Here is the fraction word, 6 fourths. Okay. There are 5 shaded parts in these two circles 
So 5 should be written as the numerator. And since each is divided into 3 equal parts, 3 is the denominator. And this the fraction word is 5 thirds. Next, there are 8 shaded parts in these two rectangles. So it should be written as the numerator or H should be written as the numerator. And each is divided into six equal parts. So six is the denominator. And the fraction symbol for this is eight sixths. Here is the fraction word. 8-6. Okay. How many are the shaded parts in these two triangles? So there are five shaded parts. So five should be written as the numerator. And each triangle is divided into four. So four should be our denominator. And the fractions, the fraction symbol is five fourths. Here is the fraction word five fourths. Okay. How many are the shaded parts in these two circles? So there are four shaded parts. So four should be written as the numerator. And each circle is divided into three equal parts. Now, three is the denominator. The fraction symbol for this is four-thirds. Here is the fraction word, four-thirds. How about this one? Okay, there are nine shaded parts in this three triangles. So 9 should be written as the numerator and each triangle is divided into 4 so 4 is the denominator. So the fraction symbol for this is 9 fourths and here is the fraction word 9 fourths or how many Whole triangles are there. There are two triangles or two whole triangles. And how many shaded part in the third triangle? There is one shaded part. So one should be written as the numerator. And since it is divided into four, four is the denominator. So the fraction symbol for this, another fraction symbol for this is 2 and 1 fourth. So 2 and 1 fourth is equivalent to 9 fourths. Next. Okay. How many are the shaded parts? There are 7 shaded parts. So 7 should be written as the numerator and it's is divided into 3 equal parts. So 3 is the denominator. So this is 7 thirds. And here is the fraction word 7 thirds or how many whole circle there are two whole circles and one shaded part and divided it and it is divided in, into three equal parts so three is the denominator 
So the symbol for this is 2 and the fraction symbol for this rather is 2 and 1 third. So 2 and 1 third is equivalent to 7 thirds. Okay, there are Six times is three is eight plus one is eighteen plus one is nineteen. So there are nineteen shaded parts and should be written as the numerator. So nineteen is the numerator and it each is divided into six, so six is the denominator. So the symbol for this is nineteen six and written as 19.6 or how many are the whole rectangles? There are three whole rectangles and one sixth. So three and one sixth is equivalent to 19 sixths. Let us answer this. Okay. Write the symbol of the following fraction words. Three-fourths, ten-fifths, nine-sixths, eight-fourths, and five-thirds. So three-fourths is three-fourths. Next, ten-fifths. Next, nine-sixths, eight-fourths, and five-thirds. Write the following in fraction words. Four sevenths, nine six and six six fourths and two fifths. So four sevenths and nine sixths. For this is six fourths and two fifths. Next. Let us see if you understand the lesson. Read the fractions written in words and choose the corresponding letter for its correct figure. Number one, five fourths. Number two, ten sevenths. Number three, three halves. Number four, five thirds. And number five, nine sixths. Next, look at the fraction figures and choose the corresponding letter for its correct fraction symbols. Number one, what is the correct fraction symbol for this figure? How about this figure? How about number three and number four and the number five? Assignment. Look at the fraction figures again and choose the corresponding letter for its correct fraction symbols. Okay, what is the correct fraction symbols for symbols for this and for this and for number three? What is the correct fraction symbols and for number four? What is the correct? fraction symbols and for number five what is the correct fraction symbols for this then write the symbol of this fraction words four thirds five eighths nine six two sevens and eleven sevens okay that's all for now thank you very much and god bless